Let's talk about colonial organization. That what is colonial organization? When many unicellular organisms live together in the palm of colony is called colonial organization. So first of all, what is unicellular organism? Do you know students? Unicellular organism are those organisms which have single cell. And all the function are capable for this single cell to perform all the function in the body. So colonial organization can be defined as when many unicellular organisms live together in the palm of colony is called un colonial organization. Colonial organization can be explained with the help of this example which is wall wax. Wall wax is a green algae and green algae are protest some protest so wall wax are some protest. Now the second one is at live in water. Wall wax live in water because they like water. The third one is when hundreds of wild wax colony combine, they form a small colony. Fourth one is when most of the function are power palm by aerosol. In wild wax, most of the function are performed by aerosol. For example, if mobility is the function of vegetative cell, while on the other hand, reproduction is the function of reproductive cell. These are the examples of wall wax. Now comes to all the fifth one, which is when small colony combine to form a big colony. In wild wax, when small colony, very small small colony combine to form a very big colony. And the last one is a very important point that individual wild wax cannot live independently. Why individual wild wax, wax cell cannot live independently? because they depend on each other for food, water, etc. So this was all about colonial organization and with explanation with the help of this example which is wall walks. Thanks for watching.